Hello everyone, 2K Sports is proud to present today's matchup, broadcasting live from Blue Sun Stadium, playing on their home turf, we have the Werewolf, they're going up against the UFO. I'm Dan Stevens, and across from me is Peter O'Keefe. Okay, Peter, let's review the lineups in today's game. Dwight Stevenson and O.J. Simpson lead the way for the UFOs. Here you've got a halfback and the guy who blasts holes open for him. I'm not knocking this back by any means, but having good blocking is pretty important. But they're not the only team featuring superstars. Roger Staubach and Night Train Lane are standouts for the Werewolves. With these two All-Pros at the center of it all, this whole team is filled with quality. If you let up for even a moment, you'll be watching one of them dance in the end zone. Thanks, Peter. The captains are at midfield for the coin toss. Okay, Roger. I'll be gentle. Gentlemen, please make your call. We want heads. Heads it is. We'll kick. The UFOs have won the toss and select a kick. Griffin kicks off and the game is underway. Barney catches it back at the eight. Pulled at the 26. And Barney tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forceful again.
The Werewolves send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Second and one. Ball at the 34 yard line. Down! Six. Staubach throws a bullet to the foot. And it's caught at the 32. Bang down at the 39. First down with two tight ends First to the right. Keller takes it across the line and rambles for about five. Second and four from your werewolf, 44 yards. Execution, Dan. They did everything right. First down, one man back. Keller <laughs> picks up six on the play, and that will bring up second down. He picks up six yards on the play. Lewis with the tackle. Watch out Second for the play action! UFO, 43 yards. Down! Three trips on the hood! Regroup! Regroup! Go back! Kelly makes the nice catch, and he's looking for room. Oh, and Coleman locked down hard at the 26. Leroy Kelly leaves the defense flat footed here, Dan. Watch this movie folks for a big game. That's pretty cool. Plays can turn so dramatically on how well a fake like that goes. Yeah, he'd be spitting out turf. He would have gotten hammered if he didn't make that move. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Right execution. Staubach zips it to the left sideline, and it's caught with room to run.
Roger Staubach squeezes that ball through. Great placement. The defender is practically breathing down his neck. Yeah, you have to give credit to the receiver as well, Dan. It takes two guys to make a play like that work. They take the lead on that touchdown, Peter, and they have to be happy with their performance on that drive. Yeah, great calls and great execution. Now the extra point, and it's good. Damn, guys, this is nothing, nothing. When we get that lead, let's get back out there and crack some heads. The werewolves are set for the kicker. Mega, deep to receive. Your Premian boots it away. Mega heals the kickoff at the two. the 28. Dave Meggett was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The UFO's offense takes the field and they will start at their own 28-yard line. Simpson catches it in the flat, edge is at the 30, back Simpson. down at the 32. O.J. Simpson must have been pretty lonely out there on his own, but the quarterback got him the ball to cheer him up a little bit. You know, a, a gift basket, if you will. They move the ball, and it will be second, second down. down. Second down from the shotgun. Really rifles this pass, and it's intercepted. Run down at the 35. And Barney has this pass dead to rights all the way, Dan. He's got the interception and enough room to run the ball and give his offense a head start. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you gotta love D like that. The Werewolves are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 35-yard line. Jackson hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Get your head out straight. We can't have you throwing pick. I couldn't get away from the run. Down! Sit! Black out! Black out! Wait, trips open! Wait, trips open! <laughs> Staubach throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 38. Breaks the game, dragged down at the 28. Leroy Keller enhances this risk. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Werewolves are out in front, seven to nothing. Seven. Third down, two tight ends in the game. Kelly has his number called on third down and converts the third down. Nice gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Peter, they did what they needed to do, and they squeak it past the first down line. Yeah, he knew what he needed to do, and he done did it. How eloquently put. Thank you. Kelly is at the 10. Roy 
Kelly. Took advantage of some really good blocking there. They opened up a hole. And he's able to cross the line and get a bunch more without uh, really much resistance. And that's what the O-line gets paid for. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have him. So far, he's got 77 yards and one touchdown. Now the point after, and it's good. Yopremian crushes this one deep. Maggot is coming out with it. Tackled at the 21. Dave Maggot took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The UFOs were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own 21-yard line. Barney tips it away on the coverage incomplete. Glenn Barney gets a hand on this one. Right there. That's a... We're playing like yourself today. We need to pick it up. I need some help, man. I can't do it by myself. All right. Second and ten. What's the pass? What's the pass? Wait, wait, wait. That's the Lars. Goes in motion. Simpson gets the handoff and heads left. Tackled at the 26. Terrific work breaking up that pass on the last play, Peter. Well, you're not going to find a better covered corner than Lem Barney, Dan. You might as well throw a blanket over your receiver if he's on the job, because Lem is going to be on him like glue. Third down, two receivers to the left. Mitchell tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Dustin Mitchell came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning, and they forced the incompletion with Rubble to be. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Ellis lines up the punt after the three and out. Ellis takes the snap and punts it away. Upchurch fields the punt at the 38. Great three to stop at the 48. Rick Upchurch did a nice job getting some yards after fielding the solid punt. The Werewolves come out on the field and are looking to extend their lead before the break. They'll start at their 48-yard line. Great. Kicks it away on the coverage, incomplete. Larry Duncan couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. A nice throw down the field, but the defense plays it perfectly. Great coverage downfield that time. Second down, 10 yards to go. Roy tackles him for a short loss. Greg Lloyd targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. Third and ten from your werewolves. 48 yards. it away on the coverage incomplete fourth down coming up joey browner couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet well the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh it sure was perfect d for that situation and it will bring up fourth down sydney gets ready to punt it away Here I come, here I come. 
Sydney takes the long snap and punts it away. Megan fields it at the 14. Juke. Stop at the 20. Dave Megan didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The UFOs must feel like they need to score this time out. This drive will start at their own 20-yard line. Simpson hauls it in right side. He's looking for room. Hot hard at the 22. O.J. Simpson had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Maggot goes in motion. Rippon makes the throw after the play action fake, and it's off, incomplete. Dave Meggett had that ball in his hands on that play, and, and he just dropped it. The normally sure-handed running back took his eyes off that one. The uncommon error for that guy. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Intercepted! The 37. You got nothing, man. Nothing. Mike Train Lane finds himself in a perfect position and makes the most of it. Oh, he doesn't seem to have any trouble making the INT. Great job. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. The werewolves stalled early last drive. We'll have to see what happens here. We'll start at the 37-yard line. Staubach lets you go here. It's caught just barely past the markers for a first. Roger Staubach led the ball back there to his men right past all that traffic. Good job. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Oh, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 71 yards and no interceptions. First down for the on. <laughs> Kelly picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. <laughs> Call again and heads wide right. First down with the tight end right. Kelly catches the bullet out left and is at the 15. The werewolves take their first time out. Leroy Kelly was able to keep the play alive because of a nice move after the catch back there. This guy can really twist up the coverage in that short area. That's right, Dan. Those quick routes have been open for him all day. Obviously, that's what the defense wants to give him. Staubach throws a bullet and it's off. Incomplete. Clinton Royal had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Third, and Third down and four wideouts in the game. Yopremian kicks from 38 yards out, and it's good! 
Daryl Japonia sends it losing between the goal posts for a field goal straight down the pike. The field goal will extend their lead some here in the first half. It's still early, but the momentum is definitely behind them now. Yopremian sends it downfield. Megat catches it back at the one. Touchdown at the 24. Dave Megat received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The UFOs take the field with the clock at 20. Fires this one over the middle, and it's tipped incomplete. David Russell came in and got a hand on that football. Left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Fryer goes in motion. First down and a whole lot more. Julius Helming eventually gets there, but I don't know why he even bothered. Big gain and they'll move the chain. First and ten. Tips it to the left sideline and the reception's made at the 39. Eventually shot. Irving Fryer is all by himself and he'll take advantage of it. Easy catch. A well-designed play. First down from the shotgun. Fryer goes in motion. Metzelars gets a piece of this one, but that's all incomplete. Pete Metzelars almost brought that baby in, but it was just off his fingers. Third drop of the game for him, Peter. And look, the coach looks absolutely frustrated. Oh, yeah, Dan. Mistakes can kill what you're trying to accomplish on offense. No doubt about it. Griffin launches the 52-yard attempt and can't quite get enough left. It's everything. And that'll do it for the first half of. Your werewolf, 17. Your premium boots the second half kickoff away. Megat fields the second half kickoff at the one. The 24. Dave Megan is able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The UFOs are fading fast and desperately need to score. Their offense will start this drive at their own 24 yard line. Metzelars goes in motion. protection there was just weak at best. The defensive design worked flawlessly, and the refs will spot the ball well behind the original line of scrimmage. What a way to derail a series from the onset. Second and long ahead. Now. 
Fryer catches the hitter left sideline and picks up maybe 11. Irving Fryer made an excellent grab back there and then tacked a few more on. Great effort. Nice gain, and that puts them in a very convertible third down situation. Yeah, you know, Dan, my last convertible was a 72 Nova. You know, Peter, it's no wonder you were a lineman. <laughs> in motion. Simpson gets the call on third down and gets the first and more of 45, 35, 25, 15, 5, touchdown! O.J. Simpson stays alive and gets a big gain there. Griffin is back for the point after. Archuleta on the hold. Griffin kicks it away. Barney fields the kickoff at the nine. Breaks free. Stop at the 34. Glenn Barney got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Werewolves come out on offense, and they are well ahead. They'll start this drive at their 34-yard line. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Dedrick Kirksey tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they Second cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Six. I'm going for you. I'm going for you. <laughs> Kelly has his number called on second down, and heads to the right. down at the 36. Third down, one man back. Down. Sit. and they get the first on third and long. Dedrick Kirksey has no one around to stop him, and what are the defenders doing out there? What? I mean, were they thinking he'd drop him? Uh, apparently, they, were they weren't even thinking at all. It makes you wonder how far away we are from substitutions in that secondary. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach them. Kelly gets the call on first down, and the searches for a hole. Stopped at the 45. Leroy Kelly used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second and eight from UFO. 45 yards. Kelly gets the call on second down and rambles for about five. He picks up five on the play. Brown credited with the tackle. This kind of pickup should be no problem for us. Third and three. 
from UFO 40 yard. Down. Sit. Bring up Leroy Keller basically runs one shot over the defense on this play. Let's see that again. He charges straight into the defender and pounds through for the yardie. He likes to play physical, man, and he's just told the defense that they better like it too if they expect to keep up with it. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. Staubach got hit as he threw that one, and that will be an incomplete pass. Roger Staubach took a shot back there, which is why that pass went nowhere. That falls incomplete, but it would have been a minimal gain right. had they completed it anyway. Let's it go down the right side. He connects at the 19. Finally stopped at the 14. Dan Jackson sees that he's singled out there and does just enough in that pattern to gain separation. Oh, he knew where he had to be and got his hands in position to haul that one in. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Has his number called on second down and heads up field. Touchdown! Reese Hallen carves out some room for his runner on that play. Yeah, walks back to D so the ball carrier doesn't have to. You know, Dan, I think my wife might want to hire him to clear through the crowds at the mall on the day after Thanksgiving. He'll get the touchdown and he does it in style. Beautiful play. Now the extra point and it's good. Yopremian hits a boomer down the field. Megat decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 25. Dave Megat took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Werewolves in command of this one, 24-7. The UFOs got into the end zone last time they had it, and they're looking to do it again. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Pryor goes in motion. Armstrong snags the dart right sideline, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. Chris Armstrong makes the catch and then takes it for a great... First and ten. Ball at the 47 yard. Rippon throws a beauty to the right side. And the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Catches it to the middle and is well past the markers for a first down. From your werewolves, 12 yards. Cover your 
Rippon throws a heater right sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. Chris Armstrong was all thumbs. That one bounced right out of the mitt. That's a good example of how he's not yet reached his full potential. First drop pass of the game for him, and his quarterback hopes it's his last. Fryer didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Irving Fryer had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Rippon unloads this one to the left, and it's knocked down at the line, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Irving Pryor did everything he could to create an opening for the quarterback to throw into. It looked like that one could have been completed. Peter, in third down situations, they have not been successful at all with the pass. This play was more proof. Boy, third is such a crucial down, Dan. And when you don't convert, it really hurts. Redmond goes in motion. This one falls incomplete, and they will turn the ball over on down. Kari Redman runs a post pattern there, and the pass comes his way. But he can't make the catch. You know, that should have worked, in my opinion. They needed that fourth down conversion to come through, and it did not. Is that all she wrote? Well, never say never, Dan, but they really did need to score here. They'll have to be lucky as well as good to pull this one out. The Werewolves take the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? We'll find out as they start this drive at their own 13-yard line. Punches this one left of center and maybe picks up one on the play. Second down, and they line up with three tight ends. Watch for the run here. Good time to try it. Kelly gets the call again and heads left. Tackled at the 20. Leroy Kelly played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Sydney lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Here I go, punter. I'm coming. I'm about to punt. Sydney takes the long snap and punts it away. The home team has it. First and goal from the railroad, eight yarder. Metzelars goes in motion. Rippon throws this to the rope, and it's cut for the score. Pete Metzelars makes the catch with... Griffin is back for the point after. Metzelara will hold the kick. Now the point after, and it's good. The extra point is good.
Griffin pooches it. Cody gathers it up at the 37. Bang down at the 36. McAllister Cody wasn't going to let a miracle happen on this arm side. It comes his way and then gets his hands around it to put the offense out on the field. Great work by this hands team. Peter, they had to try the onside stick there, so you can't fault them for their decision to the matter. Absolutely not, Dan. Just didn't work out for him. Keller takes it for his 17th carry and heads wide right. Incredible run there. He's got great blocking. That allows him to just pour it on a monster game. What a run, Peter, and his numbers are adding up. Adding up to one big number. Up to now, he's got 104 yards on 17 carries. Come on, fellas, give him another in. First and goal. Second down. Albert Lewis read that play perfectly and makes the tackle behind the line, pushing them back a few yards Second in the process. Great effort. He now has five Dad, tackles in the game. Second down, goal to go. <laughs> Kelly carries this off his left tackle, and he's stopped. The clock continues to run. You need to get across the... Third and goal. down and the field goal unit is on the field. Yopremian with a 22 yarder and it's good. Harold Yopremian has little trouble pooching this one through. Let's see it again. Yep, he knows that you aren't allowed to miss many of those in this league. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. But that's the second time today they get close only to have to bring in the kicker. Yopremian boots it away. Dave Meggett took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The UFOs start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 1.14. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Lem Barney broke up the quick outside pass on that last play by reading it perfectly. No catch, incomplete. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Second down. The clock is stopped at 110. Pryor goes in motion. will continue to run. Third down, both wide outs to the right. Bryant catches this one, and they get the first on third and long. Griffin throws this one right sideline, and this one is incomplete. Pete Metzlars gained some separation off the line, but couldn't make the catch a few yards downfield. Incomplete. This is getting ugly. That is his fourth whiff of the game. They may want to rotate someone else in there, giving this receiver time to regain his confidence. Second down, 10 yards to go. Lane tips it away on the coverage. Incomplete. Night Train Lane gets a hand on this one. 
right there. That's how you... Hey, man, how about throwing a few balls off? Maxillars goes in motion. Rippon throws a heater right sideline, and the reception is made for the first down. That was... Pete Metzelars makes a terrific play here, Dan. He picks up some huge yards, takes it to the outside, and then... First down, and this is the seventh play of the drive. Simpson catches it left sideline, and that will stop the clock at 25. He picks up four yards on the play. Good job getting out of bounds. Every second counts now. Second right. down. The clock second is stopped at 25. Armstrong goes in motion. Play of the week, man. You know we're showing this one again. Oh, fantastic job picking off the quarterback. Then he sees his route and powers upfield to the end zone for six. You can't coach that. That touchdown will seal it, Peter. Well, barring some type of miracle, they are going to come away with this one. Here's the point after, and it's good. Yopramian hits a boomer down the field. <laughs> Maggot is coming out with it. Tackled at the 22. Dave Maggot took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The UFOs start this drive of the game from well in their own territory, and the clock at 10. Redman goes in motion. Snelling makes a play <laughs> on this and forces the incompletion. The Shea Snelling came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. You know, Peter, if this were volleyball, that would have been the defense's sixth spike of the match. Yeah, the O keeps setting it up and the D keeps sending it back. Second down, the clock is stopped at five. Simpson will take this one off the toss and... And that is going to do it for this one. The Werewolves come out on top 34 to 14.